Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the literal devices in Ninth Rain by JP Clark. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Some of the literal devices employed in this poem include the following. Simile. Simile has to do with a comparison of two things using the words like or as. In the poem, we come across the following examples. Except that like some fish, dropped out of the deep. Great water drops are dribbling, falling like orange or mango. Much like bees I call in prayer tale. That's like ants filing out of the wood. The poet likens the sudden manner he has woken up from sleep to the way fishes jump up and down in the water. This is an unusual way of waking up. Also, the expression, much like beads, compares the sound of the raindrops in the vessel to that of scattered beads on the floor. The raindrops are likened to the uncontrollable manner in which mango or orange fruits fall in a storm. Next is metaphor. Metaphor involves a direct comparison of two things without the use of as and like. In the poem, we come across the following lines. We have drunk tonight of a spell, deeper than the oars or bath. We will settle to sleep of the innocent and free. So let us roll over our backs and again roll to the beat of drumming all over the land. The poetic persona in these examples above makes a direct comparison of their experiences in the rain to drinking a spell that has been deeper than the ones the owls or birds drink. They by this token have become nocturnal and struck as the owls or birds with nowhere to run to as their wings have become wet in the rain, for a good sleep, which is the result of a resignation of some sort to that of the innocent and free. Next is onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word which imitates the natural sound of things. In the poem, we come across the following examples. It is drumming hard here, of drumming all over the land. Droning with insistent order. Next is hyperbole. Hyperbole has to do with the exaggeration of ideas. In the poem, we come across the following. Deeper than the owls or bats. Wet wings may not fly. Great water drops are dribbling. Falling like orange or mango. Fruit showered forth in the wind. It is drumming hard here. The poet has employed the use of this poetic technique of hyperbole or exaggeration as a way of drawing attention to their misery. The implication of this statement is that his household has been soaked by the rain more than the bats or the owls which have been out there in the rain all night. Hence, the conditions of these nocturnal creatures is an indication of how heavy the rain has been. Next is imagery. Imagery is a use of language to represent mental pictures. It is a poetic technique used by poets to paint vivid pictures with words in the minds of the readers or listeners. They are mental pictures and impressions created by words in a manner that can perceive sensation without actually experiencing them. It appeals to the senses through sight, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. In the poem, we come across the following lexical items. Drumming, droning, duped out of the deep, bob up, we have drunk to nines of a spell, falling like orange or mango, roof touch, sheaves, lightning, 
rafters, water drops, prayer beads, wooden bowls, earthenware, iroko. All these words paint mental pictures in the minds of the reader or listener. These lexical items are used to paint a vivid picture of the havoc or disturbances caused by the rain. The image of dope out of the deep creates a picture of an emergency. Next is alliteration. Alliteration is a repetition of initial consonant sounds. In the poem, we come across the following. Dope out of the deep. Drops and dribbling. Stream of sleep. Cock crow. Bopped up belly wise. All the first letters, such as in dope and D, drops and dribbling, S in stream and sleep, and C in cock and crow, all contribute in making the poem pleasantly rhythmic. Next is asunas. Asunas refers to the repetition of vowel sounds to stress words or ideas in a line of poetry. It is used not only to add a musical quality, but in setting the mood of the poem. In the poem, we come across the following examples. Bags and vats, the repetition of our sound in bags, vats. From stream of sleep, the repetition of a sound in stream and sleep. From the examples above, we see the rhythmic effects the poet created with the use of the vowels A and E in bags and vars of line 25 and stream and sleep in line 6. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.